Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So it's about 4.30, it is June 13th, Friday, 22 and change degrees centigrade, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. My batteries are in charge, it's been raining the last several days, and as a matter of fact, the sun is just barely peeking out there. It's supposed to get thunderstorms tonight. Um, you normally don't get Friday videos, but I have that big um, show to go to at the airport tomorrow, the big garage sale at Stormville. So um, I'll be there tomorrow, and I decided to take tonight off so I can uh, wake up fully rested and go take the maximum advantage of it. So this is my wake up video, my assortment video, my first video of the week as I'm trying to get my my stuff in order. Um, obviously because I have a big um, show tomorrow, a big garage sale to go to, a big, I don't know, flea market, whatever you all want to call it. Um, I had to finish unloading the truck and get the truck ready to go, fire it up, pull it up. Um, there was quite a bit of water. I'm going to take the F-150, but so I can show you the amount of water floating about. Um, yeah, we got, we got over an inch of rain over the last couple of days. So, anyhow, truck's ready to go. I didn't completely empty it, but, you know, that's my rolling box so I can carry stuff the beds all empty the back I got the rolling dolly the cabs basically empty um, so that's ready to go right you can't go to a flea market with a full car uh, so done secondly while I was loading and unloading things I discovered that the bike I got from Stony had part of a tool kit that I've since misplaced. Um, yeah, there was like a wrench and a couple of other things in there. Oh, God knows what the heck I did with it. So I I discovered it and lost it already. So I'm, uh, I'm on my best behavior today. Hmm. I normally try not to put these things too far from where I've been, but... Well, God knows what I did with it. And so that tells you what I'm doing, what I've done so far today, and what I'm doing tomorrow. And one other thing. Um, being a crazy hoarder as I am, and having as many bikes as I do, and particularly having as many Honda 185s and uh, 200s as I do, those ATCs, um, the 185 and 200 all use the same fan um, basket, starter basket, and uh, flywheel and coil, right? These are, are the same bike to bike. Somebody had this up on eBay for um, $9.99, buy it now, and like another $9.99 shipping. So it was, it was 20 bucks, but it came with the the flywheel, the basket, obviously the fan, it also came, came with the coil, and the real reason why I bought it is it came with all the hardware, including the, um, the flywheel bolt that's not all mushroom, the washer, the lock washer, the bolts to hold, the coils on, and, and the whole bit. I've seen them trying to sell just this assembly for 75 bucks plus shipping. Flywheels are typically cheap. They go for 25 give or take. You know, the basket in this kind of shape isn't very valuable. But, you know, easily. I've, I've seen them try to get just for the bolt that holds the, um, holds the flywheel on. I've seen them try to get $19.95 plus shipping for it. So, anyway, that was a steal of a deal. I keep... Um, a lookout for these things not that I need to keep 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 adding to the hoard but sometimes when when you're trying to put a bike together and you just look at that flywheel nut it's you know the the um, the threads for the for the flywheel the bolt that goes through the flywheel here um, are a bit hammered 
and you, you know you kind of clean them up and you're looking at the bolt and it's a bit hammered and you say to yourself god if i uh if i could just um come up with a new bolt it would just make this whole situation look and feel so much better it's a lot less to worry about so I didn't pay 20 bucks to just get the bolt I paid 20 bucks to get all of it um, what's also helpful is I started putting this stuff away not that it's exceptionally well organized but um, I'm putting that that stuff in here and like you can see another flywheel and there's some stators and all so I'm trying to get my, and yet another flywheel so I'm trying to get myself a bit more organized so when I actually need some of this um, product stuff crap whatever you want to call it I can actually find it I've um, also love using the plastic bags we'll put all the like stuff together so even though I'm a crazy hoarder I don't save toilet paper and there is some organization to what I do. Um, let's see, I got two other topics I could I need to cover and probably doing two videos today. So I'll hit one of the topics on this video and we'll hit the second topic on, on the next video. Um, so on this video, let's talk about work. Um, so at work, they don't tell us anything at work. We get most of our news from the newspapers. And one of the local newspapers, or actually Moody's, just downgraded one of the towns that my factory lives in, that my fa factory is located in. And they just downgraded the credit rating for my town because uh, Moody's believes that the factory is going to be vacant soon. And... Um, the town is going to have trouble paying its debt without the income from the tax revenue of this particular factory. That's really interesting because um, my company has enjoyed some unbelievable tax breaks to keep the factory there. So basically they're paying almost nothing now. And then uh, once again, when they, they're afraid that when the factory closes up entirely that the town's going to have trouble paying its bills because... They're going to go from almost nothing to completely nothing. That that kind of stuff just kind of kind of cracks me up. The way these towns spend money, and and once again, the the, the way Moody's downgrades them, which by the way makes their debt more expensive, which makes it harder for them to pay their bills, right? So you you got to love that. So that was the first thing that came out from work, and the um, the second thing came from uh, Bloomberg. Um, as they were analyzing um, my company and the way they're doing things, their basic comment was that they they expect them to close my facility like immediately, um, just to stop hemorrhaging money. But lastly, on on the topic is, so I go into work on Wednesday and they're 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 serving. Um, you know biscuits and cookies and brownies and pastries and all that stuff because we just announced a new product that completely smokes the competition and we're the only factory could that could build it there's no other factory in the world so you got the company you know i don't know if they're blowing smoke with this hand and you know everybody else is blowing smoke with that hand i'm not sure what to believe i'm so glad i put in i put in my um transitional papers um i should find out next wednesday whether or not i'm accepted into the transitional plan and if i am um july 1st starts my 18 month countdown then i'll be retired and you guys will have to put up with me probably every day you'll end up getting a video because what the hell else am i going to do with myself unless i get some old guy part-time job then you won't have to put up with videos every day hopefully if i actually do get retired i can get you know a little better control of this mess um i won't have as much money so i'm actually going to have to um buy less and maybe sell something boy that's 
just about sacrilegious me selling something um, but what you won't see is the eBay packages with plastic and you, you know fly wheels and you, you know LED lighting and weed whackers all that crap's definitely gonna have to stop I'm not gonna be able to um, to do that anymore by the way um, for one of my liked videos and I, I I'm really bad with names, and you're gonna have to excuse me on that. But recently, I did a like video. I did a liked. A guy restored. I think it was an ATC 90. It had fiberglass fenders, so it was an older one. And I think they might have swapped the wheels off of it, or it might have been one of the first years with the um, with the non-balloon tires. You, you know, your your classic, you know, tires. Um, but he did a restore on it, including. Um, the fiberglass fender was missing the bottom and he fixed that and he uh, he got the dents out of the tank as a matter of fact he had the tank beautiful and then he dropped it and put a dent over here so he was like unhappy but he fixed that and fixed the whole thing painted it up I gotta tell you it was a beautiful beautiful bike if you take a look at my likes I, I watched it last night so it's one of the recent likes I, I don't know, ATC guy or, you know, ATC lover or maybe I got the wrong wrong person. But take a look at my likes. And once again, he did an amazing job with that bike. Go take a look at it. When I see stuff like that, I, I shake my head and I say, you know, stupid, if you didn't have a horde, a complete and total crazy horde like you did, you can take like that 200x sx or that 200 sx and make it perfect you can take that cushman instead of 20 cushmans and make it perfect you can maintain you know the the four tracks over there and once again keep it perfect but i don't know maybe that's just not the kind of crazy hoarder i am you, you know everybody to their own but um once again when i see something like this guy did i can see it and i can respect it you know, I'm not jealous of it, like, oh, God, you, you, you know. I mean, the guy worked. The guy did it. He, he did a really great job. It's a beautiful, beautiful bike. And um, any one of us, right, you, you could go out and find a bike and, and restore it. You know, you just take your time and, and do it. The amazing thing about the way um, this particular person did it, he made it look easy. He made it look great. It's like an 18-minute video, but... At the end of the 18 minutes, you're look looking at you know a bike that's like in I don't know I'd say it was about in that kind of condition, and when it was done, it was like showroom. He he got the uh, replacement stickers, the, um, the the duplicate stickers or however wherever he got the stickers from I I don't know eBay maybe. Um, he put the right, right stickers on it and you know he fixed all the dents in the gas tank. Whatever he couldn't bang out, he bondoed. He uh, painted it red. He put the clear coat on it. I mean, it was it was absolutely beautiful. It's something you got to respect. He turned it like into uh, museum quality. You know, he does the kind of work that um, like uh, Udizzy uh, did on the uh, John Deere bike. Um, you, you know, um, Musty One did on the um, the like the first. Um, Volkswagen bus that that he redid the the one the one that he he put the seat you, you know did the the wooden seat and and all that you, you know to make it like museum quality like really cool musty one didn't turn that Volkswagen bus back into original equipment but he turned it into something better something cool even his uh his rat rod volkswagen uh bust the way he he did that uh, you, you know you just got to see stuff like that and you got to respect it for the craft that that it does i mean y you know wild-eyed northern boy with his garage i mean volkswagen darren does it every day for cars he puts back out there on the road y you know um beautiful just beautiful stuff so y you got to respect it when you see it Anyway, folks, I've been babbling for 14 minutes, so I gotta go and I gotta show you one other thing. Then we'll call it a wrap for, for today. It looks like the weather is blowing back in. They are saying thunderstorms tonight, so um, it does look like it's coming back. Let's just hope it doesn't rain in the morning, because I really, really do want to hit this show. All right, folks, remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, smile like you're doing something you shouldn't be doing. You know, have a great time with your life. 
live love and you know enjoy and uh we'll catch you on the next episode of the horde thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing keep subscribing i like seeing the count go up bye now